Prisoners of the Ghost Land is a Sion Sono film. It is a movie starring him and, uh, not starring him, but he uh, directs it with Nicolas Cage because he's a fan of Wild at Heart. So this movie is about a ruthless bank robber. Uh, they just call him the hero. Uh, but he robs a bank, commits a massacre, and gets imprisoned. However, he's released and given a self-destructive suit. Uh, this high-tech suit uh, basically will explode if he does not return uh, the governor's uh, granddaughter in three days. So this movie is wild in terms of style. It has this like bright neon sort of, not neon, but bright eccentric color scheme, set design, uh, weird sense of humor. Um, it starts off okay. It's like a, like a weird neo-western sci-fi dystopian sort of it's very strange to say the least. Um, the plot itself is pretty basic. Uh, the hero has to go rescue the granddaughter because she escaped. Uh, however, uh, a large chunk of this movie takes place in the ghost land, which is, you know, the reason for the title. But the ghost land uh, isn't really explored or really um, not much of a challenge either. In fact, they defeat the ghost land in, in about two minutes. So that kind of sucks the tension out of the movie. Uh, but then the finale is just full of action. Uh, it's not good action, to say the least. I thought it was really strange. Um, the movie is just really weird, to be honest. Like, Nicolas Cage is in it. Uh, Tak Sakaguchi's in it. He's, he's like, good physically in other roles, too. But the movie just doesn't really have a point. Uh, Bill Mosley has a, has a fun time as the villain. But uh, the bomb suit's way too over the top. It can like detect if he's going to smack the granddaughter or if he's sexually aroused. Um, and, and it's just such a weird concept. It should have been like a weird, instead of a cool leather suit, it should have been like this giant bulky frame thing. Uh, but overall, yeah, the movie's got a weird sense of humor. It doesn't feel like it has any reason to exist. It's sort of just like, I want to make a movie with Nicolas Cage. So he, he, he's a guy who just fights things and... Um, a lot of blood, uh, yeah, so the movie just doesn't really have much of a point, uh, it's, uh, people are calling it brilliant, but, um, yeah, I didn't really get that, so I give, uh, Prisoners of the Ghostland a 4 out of 10.